Every aspect of the experience at Surf Simply is, is thought through. At the core of it is obviously the way that coaching is done, the way that that's being approached. But then around it, there's a whole resort experience from the, the way that this resort is designed, it's custom built, the way that we're being fed, the way that um, you know the pacing of the, of the week goes. It's, it's just, um, it feels orchestrated and thought through. So I want to start with you know the staff because they are what makes Surf Simply so special. And the, the number one word you want to use is thoughtful. The second word is maybe relentless in, in wanting to improve and, and be excellent. Uh, every time I'm here, half the people or more are return guests. So people like what they get and they, and they come back. I started when I was 49. I wished I started when I was nine, year old, nine years old. Uh, I uh, tried it in Hawaii and fell in love with it and uh, decided I wanted to be a surfer. Sure, do you want to go first? Or? Yeah, I mean, I, I heard about it through uh, Brian, and uh, but I think I may have watched some of Rue's videos on YouTube one time when I was in Hawaii, staring at the waves, Googling, how do I surf? <laughs> but yeah, Brian, Brian definitely uh, introduced it to me, for sure. So my, my brother-in-law actually got married in Hawaii, in, in Waikiki, and so he was a surfer. He took us out um, in the mornings, and we just sort of paddled out, tried to catch waves, and Came home and tried it, tried it back home, and uh, you know didn't have the same experience, but kept going. As a kid, we would go to the beach on vacation, and I, you know, saw people bodyboarding, and I thought that was the coolest thing. And I begged my parents for a bodyboard for so long, and when I was 14, I finally got one, and that was me sold. Like that was the best thing uh, ever. And then I think when I was like 22, uh, just on random summer vacation, I, you know, saw a surfer and I thought, oh, maybe I should try that. And uh, so, yeah, I found, found a coaching lesson and did that and I was hooked. I mean, the whole surfing journey can be a rabbit hole for, for everybody. Uh, you know, after you know getting really into it, I've uh, you know started getting really curious about surfboards and uh, the different shapes and what they do. So I started shaping. And now, uh, yeah, it's my second job. So, just personality-wise, I'm somebody who likes to get better at what they do, and uh, so I've always looked online for you know tips and tricks and coaching and uh, I came across a New York Times article um, about the approach that Surf Simply takes and that took me down the rabbit hole of you know reading the blog here and watching the YouTube videos uh, and it was that point I decided that their approach is clearly one that goes beyond just like helping people to stand up on a wave but rather sort of help people progress in a systematic way I was really curious and so that's what made me come here the first time. And yeah, I was definitely not disappointed. We don't have room enough to get to that white water. Right. So Jess is going to start thinking about engaging that braille. She's transferring gravity right. Right, right. into braille engagement and get back. Okay. I have seen how we are trying to work on things that are finessing the basics that I've learned in the previous time. I think that's what makes makes this place special, yeah. Newer surfers tend to surf B's to C's, more experienced surfers tend to surf C's to D's, right? Because we want that steepness. That steepness means immediate speed available to us. Uh -huh. Speed means maneuvers, you know. Right. Uh so I work with Teal. She was fantastic. Taking off later, I love where you're taking off. 
I want you to emulate Harry coming into that Cobra to get that rail engaged so you're not spinning off of the board. Primarily working on cutbacks um, and also roller coasters or one-way pumping. Uh, I learned I learned a ton. Now I got to go home and practice it. Till gave me plenty of homework to work work on. So um, I had uh, Marlon and Jose, and um, yeah, they really picked up where I left off from last time. It really makes it easier as well to try and predict what's happening. Really good job holding that engagement. We did not rush to pop up on this one. Started out just drilling the angle takeoff, trying to get on the open face of the wave. Um, and then from there, just you know, getting the, the stance dialed in, having control over where my weight is, being able to trim, being able to carve. You know, not a whole lot going on in front of them, so it tells them, okay, no, no target in front of me, it's behind me, so we're gonna go for the cutback. This is my third time here, and the kind of people that come here are motivated to learn, and some motivated to learn and try new things, you know, late in life, like like I'm trying. So um, it's about learning, it's about being comfortable, it's about the staff here about taking care of your every need before you think of it. Um, the staff, you know, really goes out of their way, I think, to to know you ahead of time. I think they they knew us ahead of time, even the people that. Um, hadn't been here before. They're investing in learning about them and what they want to do. I came into this with um, some new dietary restrictions, um, and I won't get into the details, but but I, you know, sent a note to Luis ahead of time, and you know, he was really able to be accommodating to give me food that worked for me and, and made me feel healthy when I was here. And uh, Diego, with the drinks in the, in the same way, you know, I told him what I could and couldn't have, and uh, he, he was uh, really accommodating and friendly. It always amazes me that I'm able to get through the week, <laughs> you know, serving twice a day. It's a very intense program, but all this other stuff helps sort of keep my, you know, keep my body going. Uh, the stretch classes are really important just to make sure those muscles are ready to go. I think is a common element for so many of the things that that you know we get here is is that it sets us up to be able to sort of do a very physically demanding thing. It also takes away so much of the sort of mental piece of it, so that you can focus on what you're trying to pick up, and, and so you know it gives you the time and space to learn these kind of skills. Having been here two years ago uh, and coming back, it's it's just amazing to step right back into it and see how that feeling is still there. Everybody just caring so deeply about everything they do, those are the coaches, taking it so seriously, um, the food being so incredible, um, just the resort itself being so well maintained. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's really inspiring just to see how it all comes together to make this amazing experience.